guys, what's up? Welcome back to my kitchen. So today we're going to be making a gourmet Swiss roll. So we'll roll the intro and we'll get straight into it. To make this you'll need 125 grams of self-raising flour, 125 grams of castor sugar, 3 eggs and 25 grams of cocoa powder. This is for the sponge, we'll get onto the buttercream filling later. For a start, you need to beat your eggs for 10 minutes. So, basically beat the eggs and sugar in a stand mixer or a hand mixer. Don't dilly dally about. Yes, I'm going to sift my sugar. Because it's very lumpy. And now that's all sifted in, you just need to put this on here. Beat it for 10 minutes. So we'll see you when we get that. Because if you just mix it like that, we're going to lose all the air. And I'll come back when this is all mixed. Right, so guys, so I've got this mixed. I've added in a tablespoon of water. You just do that, mate. It just helps Swiss rolls or something. I don't know how it works, but anyway. So we're going to put it into a grease and lined Swiss roll tin. And we've got to make sure we get this level, or else it will. One end will be like a biscuit, and the other end will be really thick. So, also. So we'll come back when this is all levelled. Right, so my Swiss roll is now in the tin, ready to go. I'm going to preheat my oven to 200 degrees C. And if you want what other uh, temperatures they are, just go to the recipe and my website and download the recipe. And also, quick product promo. Basically, if you go on my website, you've got a forum. So if you want to suggest any recipe or any video ideas, go on there rather than say DM me because I generally don't answer my DMs, so yeah. <laughs> so phone, I always, I always answer that, so just go to the phone. We'll come back when this is out the oven and on to the next. Right, so now that this is out, all we need to do is egg, this roll, then we can roll it up. You roll it up with the parchment paper in it. I know, parchment paper needs to be inside of it. Because you need to let this cool. And then yeah, don't crack, don't crack, don't crack. This is the bit where if you do this bit wrong, it will crack. By the way, that was parchment paper coated with sugar. If it's not coated with enough sugar, the thing will stick. So this is now going to go into the fridge. to meet our nice Italian man filling is to whisk these egg whites to soft peaks. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make a sugar syrup for our Italian meringue. So, our egg whites are at soft peaks at the minute, so yeah. So, first of all, add in our water and then add in our sugar. Smart to combine them. Do not stir this. So basically, we need to leave this for five minutes now to thicken, so we'll be back when this is thickened. Now that our sugar syrup has thickened, we're now going to go back over to our stand mixer and whip our egg whites to stiff peaks. So now, what we're going to do now is we're going to pour our sugar syrup slowly into our eggs. The reason why it's slow is so we don't not want to scramble your eggs. So, max power in the mixer, bring it in, and slowly add them in. Right, we'll come back when this is all mixed and actually peaks. Right, before we continue, I just need to point out that I'm boiling some water at the minute. That's basically just to clean the pot, because that's how you get all the excess sugar off. So, do that, you'll get everything off, and you'll have a nice clean pan at the end of it. So, 
But now we're going to add in our butter, one cube at a time. So, basically what we're going to do, better mix up the max, fill a bit in, and we take that until it's fully incorporated. So we'll come back and all our butter's in. Right, so what I did off camera with the buttercream is I actually added some icing sugar, just to thicken it a wee bit. So it's a, yes, it will be a wee bit lumpy. That's because how frothy and light and lovely it is. So. Now what we're going to do, is we're going to unravel our Swiss roll. Carefully, if you don't do this slowly, it will rip. Now, what we need to do, big top of our filling. Right, so it's almost done there. Just going to do this. Then we'll roll her back up. Now, we roll her up. This is the bit where you really need to pay attention to it. Because this is the point where cracks can form. I hope to God there's no cracks before I perfected this for ages. And voila! So, so we'll put this on a plate and we'll come back and present it. So that is the gourmet sauce roll done. <laughs> so please like and of course subscribe for more videos like this. And also, don't forget to check out my website where the form is, and also my Instagram where you'll find countdowns for videos like this one. So, without further ado, we're going to get a bit, we're going to cut it off. So, where's the knife? So, right, I've got a knife. So, we're going to chop off a nice cross section. Turn it around. How's it looking? Yes! There we go. I'm going to try the bit, I'm going to chop off a little bit of this. I've still got to see the thumbnail, so it's got to be good. Mmm! You should totally try and make this, it's so good. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye!